Welcome to another episode of Difficult Verses. Today we are blessed to seek the answer from His Eminence Metropolitan Yusuf, Metropolitan of the Diocese of Southern United States. The verse we are seeking to understand is one of the most difficult verses in the Bible, uh, to my knowledge. From St. Paul, uh, first epistle to the Corinthians, chapter 15, verse 29. Otherwise, what will they do who are baptized from the dead? If the dead do not rise at all, why then are they baptized for the dead? We all know that the Bible clearly shows that before a man must be baptized, he must first repent, believe, um, to be baptized uh, and become as part of the church. It is a symbol of the living acknowledging their sins, figuratively dying with Christ in a watery grave and rising up with that watery grave to live a new righteous life through Jesus Christ and the undwelling of the Holy Spirit. In modern times, there are groups who believe in the practice of being baptized for those who have died. This is based upon the misinterpretation of these words. Sayyidna, does St. Paul truly condone baptism for the death, and why? Of course not, because you cannot be baptized on behalf of somebody else who died. Mm -hmm. But there are two interpretations of this verse. I will explain both of them. The first interpretation, people at that time, because they believed in the resurrection, of the dead. So they start to think, what about my grandfather? He died without baptism, then he cannot be saved. Why? What about my uncle? He died without baptism, he cannot be saved. Then what his condition would be in the resurrection of the dead? Mm -hmm. So people, some people start to do this practice, you know, to be <laughs> baptized for the dead because their faith in the resurrection. But definitely this practice is not condemned by the church or by St. Paul. Mm -hmm. But St. Paul in his argument, because 1 Corinthians 15 used several arguments to prove and to defend the resurrection of the dead. So St. Paul told them, do you know how much people believed in the resurrection of the dead? to the extent that some of them were baptized for their dead, although it's a wrong practice. But the, I want you to know to what extent these people believed for the resurrection, to the extent they were baptized for the dead. You know, mm -hmm. that, that's one explanation. But the other explanation, which actually makes more sense, mm -hmm. When people actually saw that people died for Christ, yeah. young people like St. Stephen, so people said, why a young man, young youth like St. Stephen dies for Christ? Then if he doesn't believe in the resurrection of the dead, why he lose his life here on earth? Mm. You know? yeah. So when they saw the faith of the martyrs, people who died for Christ, this actually encouraged them to die for Christ, okay. uh, to, to be, sorry, to be baptized. In their martyrs, uh, in the blood. Yeah. Um, and this actually goes with the context of the verse. St. Paul, after he spoke about uh, why those baptized for the dead, he said in verse... Otherwise, what will they do who are baptized for the dead if the dead do not rise at all? Why then are they baptized for the dead? Why do we stand in jeopardy every hour? Why you are taking the risk every hour? Why you are putting our life at risk of being killed for Christ? I affirm by the boasting in you which I have in Christ Jesus our Lord, I die daily. If in the manner of men, I have fought with beasts at Ephesus. What advantage is it to me if the dead do not rise? Let us eat and drink, for tomorrow we die. 
So St. Paul here actually said, when the non-believers, when the non-believers, so the believers die for Christ, they believed in Christ and they were baptized. Okay. That's baptism for the dead. When okay. I am a non-believer, I saw a believer dies for Christ, yeah. because he believes in the resurrection. Yeah. So I become a believer, you mm -hmm. know, and I be baptized. That is the meaning of baptism for, for the, dead. the dead. For the people who died for Christ already. Yes. Okay. Is it true that the bloodshed in martyrdom considered baptism? Yes. If that person yeah. is not baptized? Yeah, considered baptism by blood. The blood. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Satan, for your answer. Thank you. Uh, baptism is a holy sacrament for the living believers seeking to take part of the church. Baptism is the second birth of water and spirit. This is the teaching of our church and the teaching of St. Paul to the Corinthians. He did not condone it. Thank you for watching us today. See you next time with another verse and His Eminence Metropolitan Yusuf, Metropolitan of the Diocese of Southern United States.